All right, so here's another day in Russia. So far, everything's been great. Uh, we've been able to explore a little bit. Today, the Kremlin is closed, so we're not gonna be able to explore that today. Uh, but we still have a little bit of time to be able to do that uh, before we go to Chechnya and Dagestan. But I will tell you, the only challenge that I've had is my back. I think I've already mentioned it. Um, I finally got uh, painkillers and anti-inflammatory pills. Uh, and that helped a ton. And right now, I'm on my way uh, to go ahead and get a massage before we go to before we go check out Sambo tonight. Uh, Sambo is gonna be great. I think it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be challenging. And tonight, going to do Sambo is definitely gonna be one of the most challenging martial arts that I've ever done in my life. Uh, but whatever we filmed, I know we filmed a little bit of uh, American wrestling, uh, BJJ, and now we're gonna be filming uh, basically Russian, uh, the Russian Sambo martial art, uh, which is considered the hardest martial art in the world, which I think, yes, I think is gonna be the most challenging martial art that I'm gonna face. And not only because of that, but because my back is all messed up. So we're gonna go get that massage. Hopefully they can get those spasms out from my back. And uh, and that doesn't hinder us from uh, performing. And that doesn't hinder us from performing the way I want to. I wanna be able to go in there and have the full experience. I don't want anything to be holding me back. I don't want anything to stop me from learning as much as I can. And uh, yeah, so hopefully this massage is definitely gonna be able to help us out. And uh, just allow me to do the best I can. Um, that's what I want, that's what I'm hoping for, and I think that's what's gonna happen. So let's definitely find this place and uh, get a massage. <laughs> Счастье на деньги я утопал меня правду на веру Я так искал в твоих глазах лишь любовь, но нет меня Я был частью тебя, я был частью тебя Кинув капюшон, не спрячусь от проблем грешен Ведь просто был мне другом, стал теперь моим врагом И слезы свойственны для баб не focus on athletes uh, that do martial arts or all kinds of sports, especially if you have injuries. And let me tell you, they did, they did a phenomenal job. They did a great job at uh, taking away my spasms and the knots that I have on my back. I'm definitely more mobile. And now all we got to do is just get ready to go to this uh, Sambo gym, which they seem like like badasses because the head of this uh, Sambo gym is amazing. And I decided to go with this Sambo gym because they just look like badasses. I mean, if you represent Russia and you represent Sambo, this is the gym to go to. And it, they look they look phenomenal. I mean, they look great. Uh, they have, I mean, just by looking at their pictures, they have, I don't know, hundreds of trophies. They look like they have, um, I mean, from a little bit that I saw, they look like they got tons of champions. I mean, I think there's only two Sambo training gyms here in Moscow uh, which should tell you a lot and uh, I mean just looking at the head of the Sambo gym I mean you could just tell he's a badass uh, so we're gonna go ahead and get ready to go over there and uh, hopefully get some Sambo in tonight so let's go мимолетно заглянет в окна сегодня ну как у вас дела бьются ли рекорды не дождетесь не сдохну и не выскочу на пьедестал воздух свободный я ее за руку держал мы будто заперты в этом сломанном пространстве наша карта сыграет не сломаться словно туда попадает кто в so right now we're definitely on our way uh, I'm super excited. This is something that I've been dying to do for years. I've been wanting to come to Russia. I've been wanting to come to the Eastern Hemisphere to do Sambo. And uh, I mean, I'm not nervous about fighting. I'm actually really excited. But what I am nervous about is because uh, because I have so many injuries before and doing it so many years after and learning a new martial art after so many years, you know, the only thing worried about is my back. You know, because I've, uh, I, I, I think, I think every single fighter goes through some form of injury, uh, some form of obstacle they need to overcome when it comes to uh, injuries. I don't think you could do any fighting sport, uh, any martial art without getting an injury at some point. Uh, if you don't, I mean, your discipline is, is amazing. I would love to learn from it. 
But if you do, that's always going to be an obstacle uh, when it comes to a martial art, uh, going into uh, a competition, going to practice, uh, waking up from bed, something so simple. Um, it's always going to be an obstacle. And in this case, it, to me, this is nothing new. Uh, something I've, I've actually been used to do, used to going through. Um, I think that it does make me a little nervous knowing that I have, you know, two bulging discs in my neck, a twisted vertebrae, uh, two hernia discs in my lower back, blah, 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 you know, needing surgery, needing all this. But what fighter doesn't, you know? I think the most important part is to come out of this uh, learning. Uh, I'm able to show you guys everything that I wish to show you guys when it comes to, you know, one of the toughest, if not the toughest martial art in the world. But uh, I'm definitely excited. I'm definitely excited. I'm making sure that uh, the fact that I got here with an injury, or, or at least uh, spasms, um, I wouldn't call that injury. Uh, I'll call that just, uh, like I said, just like a, an obstacle. Uh, that massage definitely helped my muscles relax, which I'm very grateful for. He did an amazing job. Uh, so I'm definitely a lot, you know, happier, you know, going into uh, learning this new martial art, in which I'm hoping that they actually. Uh, allow me, you know, uh, this is definitely a risk. I'm, a, I'm going about 30 minutes from where I'm at just to be able to get to this gym, uh, which I feel would be would be the gym for for us. And so, um, yeah, you know, there there isn't a uh, there isn't life without risk, and uh, this would be one of those risks. I'm risking my body, you know, risking uh, going over there, risking us, you know, telling us no. Uh, but I am going as a Colombian American, which I'm very open about. Uh, the taxi man seems to also uh, like the fact that we're Colombian and American as well. And, uh, you know, everyone here has been very, very sweet, very welcoming, has been very helpful. Uh, and they, they understand that I am a foreigner. They understand that I am American. They understand that I am Colombian as well. So, so far it's going really good. And I wouldn't doubt that uh, going to, to this uh, martial art gym, this Sambo gym, uh, we are going to be welcomed beautifully. So let's go ahead and get over there. You guys became independent from the Republic in the 90s, correct? I don't know this place. We have long been a free America for us nobody. This is good to know because it's very confusing for me to understand the past here. <laughs> so the taxi driver is actually from uh, Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan. No, no, no. Azerbaijan. He's actually from Azerbaijan. And, uh, you know, of course, it's easy for me to mistake and everyone here to be Russian. But uh, remember that the uh, the USSR was uh, comprised of 15 countries before. Um, and I'm sure there is uh, some uh, some liberties to travel uh, within the 15 countries that was originally the USSR. Uh, but yeah, he's from Azerbaijan. Right now, the Dagestanis are the best in the UFC. Going over there, I hope to see the best fighters or the best training over there in uh, Chechnya and Dagestan. Mangul is an amazing of Chechnya. The Ahmed Kulub on Druk Kadurova, President of Chechnya. are engaged in Chechnya where Ahmed club he suddenly mm. Katerev is the president of Chechnya duh, duh. yes I've been learning a lot about the president and also how his children are also engaged in the MMA world I also know that the president of Chechnya has three of his children in war as well. I was
will see how the culture is down there as well. And I hope that the... I heard that they will receive me very well because I am a foreigner. Yes, yes, yes. In the Caucasus, we like guests very much and receive them very well. This makes me very happy because we have been hearing a lot of... Right now, they are saying that a lot of foreigners should not go in that area. And I think differently. I think it should be... I understand that because of the war, it may be more dangerous, but I feel as if I would do well there with them, as long as I respect them. No, it doesn't concern you. Don't be afraid. Thank you. Thank you so much. That does take away a lot of pressure. Now I feel a lot more free to go there. All right, so I did my best to communicate uh, with the taxi man about uh, what I plan to do, going to Chechnya, going to Dagestan. He was telling me that uh, Azer Azerbaijan is about 200 kilometers away uh, from Dagestan, uh, from the Republic of Dagestan. And he was telling me, I don't know if you guys were able to comprehend the conversation we were trying to have using Google Translate, but I was basically asking him how it is for a foreigner as well to go down to uh, Chechnya and Dagestan. And he was telling me, don't be afraid, you know, uh, the war doesn't concern you. Um, you're, you'll be, you'll be, I'll do very well down there. Basically, he's, he's telling me that it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay for me to go down to Chechnya and Dagestan as a foreigner because uh, Chechens and Dagestanis uh, love foreigners and that um, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a great experience. So uh, I'm pretty excited to go now. He has given me uh, a lot more confidence in me going to uh, Chechnya and Dagestan during these times. You know, right now, a lot of people are saying that, you know, Dagestan and Chechnya is one of the most dangerous uh, areas to go to in the world right now. Um, according to the U.S. advisory, it is the most dangerous uh, because Russia is the number one country to not visit right now at the moment as a U.S. citizen or as any other foreigner. So um, I'm pretty happy at the fact that uh, the taxi man was able to tell me that, you know, he is from Azerbaijan. Um, he is also Muslim. Uh, they, they're also Muslim down there and that they're going to go ahead and welcome me with open arms and uh, that, yeah, that I shouldn't be afraid uh, to go down there, you know, uh, without a worry and everything's going to be fine. So I'm pretty excited. This is getting, this is becoming an even better experience than, than I expected. And uh, yeah, so right now we're just going to go do Sambo and hopefully we can go down to uh, Chechen and Dagestan and do some more martial arts down there and see why right now they're the most incredible fighters uh, in the UFC. And as we all know, uh, Khabib, Islam, um, and all the other uh, Dagestanis and Chechens, uh, and the Chechens, one of the Chechens, Kamza uh, Chimeyev, uh, hopefully I didn't butcher his name, but Kamza Chimeyev is uh, one of the uh, better fighters as well in his weight class. And so, uh, yeah, we're gonna go down there to see, you know, why the Dagestanis and why the Chechens are, are just so brutally amazing uh, in the UFC right now. Uh, but I'm really excited because, you know, we have seen the humidity um, and also the power coming from the Chechens and the Dagestanis. So, but for now, let's go ahead and enjoy uh, going to uh, the Sambo gym. And uh, hopefully we, we are welcomed. And I know for a fact we're going to be welcomed with open arms just because of the fact that I'm here to uh, learn of their art. So, yeah, let's keep, keep going. Da -da. <laughs> so see you. So see you. Da -da. Ciao. Я напишу про депрессуху целый дом, приколи мне, как улыбаться на... Alright guys, I apologize that um, I wasn't able to change the, the settings on the camera. Um, I can only change the settings on the camera with the phone. Um, so I was able to do my best with the lighting that we had. Uh, remember that Russia has six months of, uh, of uh, winter, so they don't get that much as much lighting as we would want to. But uh, right now I'm just going to go ahead and find the gym. And uh, yeah, let's see if we can find it. Check this out guys. We have a plaque and everything. So I'm guessing that this is 
go to the right place because that's just what it says here. So. <laughs> Over here, as you see, they have a lot of trophies going on here for some. And right now, the coach won't be here till 8 for me to find out what I can do. Or when I'll be able to do it. But I'm hoping that I'll be able to have a class today. But this is the coach, or the head of some. That's it. Tiny here looks like a badass. <laughs> So we had to go ahead and wait here till 8, uh, it's 6 o'clock, so I'll go ahead and patiently wait till 6, and uh, yeah, hopefully he gets here, I'll be able to talk to him, and we'll be able to get some uh, training in Sambo. Alright, so quick update, uh, we have Drew joining us, so that uh, he'd be able to translate for me, and uh, hopefully he could also help me film. But when I got to the institution, um, the coach wasn't there, uh, I was able to speak to the manager, and uh, they told me I had to wait about two, two and a half hours for the coach to get there to talk to him to see if we're going to be able to film because uh, I didn't know this. It's an actual institution for teaching Sambo and they take it so seriously that they actually have classrooms, you know. Uh, so the, the kids that you just saw, you know, these kids are, you know, being taught Sambo and the art of Sambo and the whole history of Sambo uh, since the time that they're kids. So they really, really take this, you know, very, very seriously and uh, they're very passionate about this so um, I mean hopefully they're, they're able to let us uh, uh, learn and, and do Sambo and uh, also go around the institution because uh, the pictures that I saw in the institution are amazing they're incredible so uh, but yeah uh, we're about to head back we came over here to kind of drink water kind of get ready and uh, talk about uh, what, what we're gonna be filming but we're about to head back and hopefully uh, we're able to talk to the, the coach and uh, go from there sure. not, not different. So, how's it going, Fernando? All right, so uh, basically, uh, we were able to talk with the coach. Uh, we're not completely sure if we're going to be able to film or not, but he invited me in, and he wants me to go in and uh, change. Well, he wanted me to come change, and then go join him, so I'm hurry up to get there. But we're hoping that they're going to let us film, so. All right, guys, so I have bad news, and I have good news. But we'll go ahead and start with the bad news. The bad news is I was not able to film in this certain institute, but with good reason, which leads me into my good news. So you guys saw how they had a golden placard in front of the institute, right? Yeah, the main reason why was because I was entering the Institute of Sambu where the head coach is the actual successor to one of the founding fathers of Sambu. And the name of that head coach is Valery Valentinovich Velosnik. And hopefully I said that correct. But, and his predecessor is Anatoly Harlampiev. So a little bit of Anatoly, I'm going to go ahead and read this off of uh, the information they're giving me. But he was a Russian researcher of various kinds of national wrestling and martial arts, right? He was merited Master of Sports of the USSR and honored coach of the sports of the USSR. So this guy was no joke. He was one of the founding fathers of Sambu. And this guy did everything possible to study as much as he can so he can improve and basically make what Sambu is today. But of course, since he's one of the founding fathers, he actually did have two predecessors. And his predecessors are Viktor Spiridonov, and the other is Vasily Sergeyevich Ashevkov. And hopefully I pronounced all those names correctly, but I'm gonna go ahead and write their names in the description as well. That way you guys can go ahead and Google their names and you can see the extent history on how they became the founding fathers of Sambo. But between those three, you know, they're the ones that created what Sambo is today. And if you guys don't already know, Sambo in Russian stands for self-defense without weapons. Now, I didn't know that Valery Valentinovich Velosnik was the uh, successor to Anatoly, uh, which is, one of the, like I said, one of the founding fathers of Sambo. I just went in casually trying to uh, film, film Sambo, right? My, my main objective was to film Sambo, practice, and kind of show you guys what Sambo is all about, uh, which does have its variants, right? We have Sambo wrestling, combat Sambo, specialized Sambo, etc., uh, which I also recommend you guys also research a little bit more on what Sambo is and the and the different, um, uh, I guess the different categories of Sambo. But like I said, I, I went in there, you know, with an open mind, just trying to film Sambo, and I just happened to fall into basically a legend. And the way he treated me and the way he received me was was amazing. 
you know, he, he came in and he goes, all right, let's go. Come on. You know, I went in, you know, uh, it, it was, I mean, I went in, it was great. I changed. Um, as you guys saw, I changed and I went in and, and we just started practicing. And let me just say that um, I love it. Uh, it's an amazing, um, an amazing martial art. It was beautiful. I mean, the way he, he trained me, I'm not going to lie. He pushed me and he pushed me um, to as far as I can. And I was able to spar. And uh, I mean, it was a beautiful experience. And so I was able to get some pictures to show you guys that what I'm saying is true. I'll go ahead and uh, put those pictures now. But um, yeah, although I wasn't able to film it, which is, you know, I told you the bad news. The good news is, I mean, it's, it's an experience that I'll be able to take with me forever. I mean, I met basically, you know, the, the successor to, to all the founding fathers of Sambo. That's the way I look at it. And not just that, he trained me. He taught me. He pushed me. And uh, hopefully I got his respect. So I think, you know, this was a win. Uh, definitely a win. And uh, I, I got a taste of what Sambo is, which what I really wanted to do as well for my personal uh, advancement in martial arts. Um, but, you know, we're not going to give up. We're going to make sure that we keep trying to find a place where they're going to allow us to film Sambo. I knew this wasn't going to be easy, but like I said, we're not going to give up. So if you guys want more information on Valeti, just go ahead and uh, Google his name. I'll go ahead and put it in the description and I'll show you guys that I was trained by one of the best um, and I'm honored. And uh, to me, you know, this was an amazing day. Um, and what more can I get, right? And of course, I'm going to let you guys know more of the head coach, Valeri Valentinovich Velosnik. I'm going to go ahead and put his name in the description. That way you guys can Google it as well. But a little bit more about him. Uh, in his higher education, he went to the Moscow Energy Institute, a uh, postgraduate degree in studies at the Odd Union Research Institute of Physical Culture. He specializes in uh, teaching sambu, combat sambu, judo, hand-to-hand -hand combat, and applied section in self-defense. So this guy's a badass. But like I said, go ahead and Google his name as well, as well as the Founding Fathers. And let me tell you that this this opportunity for me, I mean, is amazing. I, I didn't expect so much uh, from uh, just trying to find a place of Sambo, you know, a place where, where, where they teach Sambo. And it's an honor, and it was it was an amazing experience. Um, and I can actually say I was, I was taught by uh, the successor of the founding father. So make sure to like and subscribe. Love you guys. And I'll talk to you later.